Norfolk State wins tonight 76 to 62 here on the Spartan Partners Post Game Show. We welcome in the head coach here at Norfolk State, Coach Rob Jones. And Coach Jones, 76 62 is your final score. And uh, we did everything right uh, beyond that one stretch in the first half where we had a 12 point lead. Uh, this Brent game probably should have been a little bit different, but we yeah. had to fight to make it uh, difficult. And then we came up and uh, we played like we should have in the second half. Yeah, I think the first half we were taking just terrible shots at the, in that stretch. And um, we allowed them to climb back into the game. And then once we settled down, taking better shots, uh, you know, the game got extended a little bit. 76-62, uh, 45 points in the second half, a nice number in the second half again tonight. Uh, I think one of the biggest things is D DJ got into a rhythm early. He got going. He got those two fouls, but then he came back in the second half and he really played well. Well, DJ is key to our offense because not only is he a shot maker, but he brings so much attention to himself that now there's, there's bigger driving lanes because people stick to him a little bit. So he has a dual purpose in our offense. And, uh, you know, he did come alive being a shot maker in the second half. But once again, we have five guys with double figures, and that's... I mean, that's, what we're, that's our staple right now this year. We don't have any dominant scorers, uh, but we do have some guys who can score. Tonight, Stephen Whitley with a, a, almost a triple-double in the right way. Uh, 12 points, 11 rebounds, 7 assists. Second straight game with a double-double. He's filling up the stat sheet for us. Yeah, he's doing well. You know, um, and he was a little, uh, I don't know, he said he felt a little lightheaded at the beginning of the second half. Right after he made that shot, which is always weird when a kid wants to come out after he makes a shot. But, um... You know, he was feeling a little lightheaded. He got stuff together. He came back in and performed well. Uh, you look at what we did. Imani Applewhite had 14 points. He got most of his from the free throw line. But we did a nice job of stopping Dante right here at four three-pointers. But he hit one when it was pretty much over. Uh, defensively, we played a lot better over this last couple of games. Yeah, this, uh, yeah the second half today, uh, we told him at halftime that, um, you know, 45%. Anything with a four in front of it is not what we wanted to see. So we told them we had to get in the 30s, and they got, you know, we shot, they shot 32% in the second half and 38 for the game. So that was a, that was a great defensive effort. Coach, 11 and 17 overall now, 9 and 4 in conference play. We talked about it on Saturday and before the game. We just have to control what we can do. Things will happen to other places. Uh, Hampton knocked off uh, Savannah. Savannah in overtime tonight. So things are coming back our direction. We have to do a good job of weathering every storm in these next three games and, and coming up with what we can control. Yeah, we can only control what we can control. You know, we're, in the, we're still in the hunt for a regular season title. And it's amazing right now that, you know, we were 0-9 at one point and we're still in the hunt for a regular season title. It's just a kudos to this whole program. And, um, you know, we can only control what we control. I, don't, I think the Doom might be losing right now too. I'm not quite sure, but, uh, you know, that, that these two games coming up this weekend is going to be huge, you know, setting up that whole Hampton uh, sh showdown. That showdown is going to be, might be worth more than just a battle of the Bay type thing. And they actually winning by, by uh, 470 to 66. Congratulations to Delaware State. They got their first win tonight in our uh, conference play. But again, uh, we play Maryland Eastern Shore on, on Saturday. Uh, it's their homecoming. And I don't think a lot of people think a lot of goes on in the Eastern Shore, but that's going to be a big atmosphere for us to play in. It's going to be a ridiculous atmosphere, honestly. I mean, the next two games is going to really show, you know, we got to have some, some moxie, some, you know, I can't, we got some moxie, you yeah, know, because, yeah. because uh, you know, we, as, as Eastern Shore is going to be packed. Howard, you know, it's a TV game. So there's always rowdy in there anyway, but I'm sure they're going to do something extra to get their students out for a TV game. So, um, you know, that's going to be packed. And then, you know, we come back and play. Uh, the whole battle of the bay thing so you know it's going to be like three games in a row that we got to really bring it's going to be but it's good for us because it's going to be like a tournament type atmosphere for three games in a row and that's going to prepare us for the MEAC tournament i believe ain't exactly right but we focus on maryland eastern shore on saturday yeah we'll see you that way national holiday i told alexis long that so it's my birthday so make sure oh, that you yeah. support us on that day <laughs> uh if you don't support us on any other one just joking thank you coach uh, jones for stopping by we appreciate your help as norfolk state wins tonight your final score 76 62 you We'll take a timeout. You're listening to NSU Basketball right here on the NSU Sports Network.